The dashboard is the landing page of all Freepoint applications and where permissions are assigned to individual accounts. To access the dashboard, type in dashboard.getshiftworks.com on your browser's URL bar. This brings you to the login page if you have not already signed in. To initialize your account for the dashboard, you must be supplied login credentials. If you're an administrator, Freepoint will send you your credentials via email. And if you're an operator, your administrator will provide your credentials via email because administrators can create new users. I see that I have an email supplying me with my username and a link to set up my account. So I will remember my username and then click the link to start setting up my account. On this page, I will enter my provided username, type in the desired password, and then click finish. I have now received another email saying my setup is complete and I can log in. So I can click the link in the email or I can just go to dashboard.getshiftworks.com and type in my information. This is the dashboard. Some icons might not be visible to you depending on your permissions, but because my account is an administrator, I can see and modify anything I like. Let's start with the watch live icon. This automatically signs you into watch live. To go back to the dashboard, click on the user icon at the top right corner and select dashboard. Narrative works the same way. Click on the icon to be signed into narrative, then click on the gears icon and then on the option labeled dashboard to get back to the dashboard. The support center gives you a list of frequently asked questions along with our location, the latest version of cell monitor and a feedback option. Clicking the button labeled Request Support lets you send a message directly to support at getshiftworks.com if you have any questions or would like to report an issue. To go back to the dashboard, just click on the back arrow at the top left corner. Next, clicking on My Account lets you modify almost anything in your account, like your username, email, first and last name, job title, badge number, and your phone number, all depending on your permissions. The administration page is where you assign each user's permissions. Company options just allows you to change information regarding your company. Product subscriptions displays which products you have and which products you are not currently subscribed to. The devices tab displays all machines that you have connected to your account and some diagnostic information for each machine. The tab labeled roles is where you make a list of different roles with permissions for each. For example, I will create an operator role and I will allow them to modify only what is necessary and I'll disable options that they do not need to use. They will be using Watch Live, so I will select Write on the Watch Live section and then select only what I want them to be able to edit. They will not be able to edit the clock or make custom reports. They cannot export any files to their computer. They also cannot modify any machine profiles or shifts but they will be able to build their own KPIs. For my example, operators are not going to use any other applications, so I can simply disable everything else. Notice the warning message when I disable the administration setting. This is letting you know that if you assign yourself to this role, you will not have permissions to change yourself back to an administrator. Once I've finished making changes, I will click Save. Now I will make a new user to assign this new role. I will click on the Users tab and then select Add User. I will give them a username. It's important to note that usernames cannot contain spaces and they must be unique. Then I will type in their email. You may fill out the other input fields, but I will leave that for the operator when they set up their account. Next, assign them to the role that we just created. Activate their account and then click on Create. They will get an email where they must initialize their account like we did when we received our email. I will copy the username, click on the link to set up the account, and fill out all input fields. Then I will log in with those credentials. And now you can see that applications are not enabled for this account, including Narrative, My Account, or the Administration, so this account can only use Watch Live. If we click on the Watch Live icon, we can see that we are allowed to make our own KPIs, but nothing else. So if we try to create another shift or rename a machine, we will not be able to access those modules. To go back to the dashboard, click on Users, and then select Dashboard. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please contact us at info at getfreepoint.com.